Hello, Ninetales Ninetales here today with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, this is an OU match. I'm kind of out of my comfort zone in OU, um, as you'll see. Kind of affects me later. Uh, he, uh, I've never really battled in a Deoxys speed. I don't really know what to do. Um, but I thought they would be like a Spikes user. So I just uh, stay in, get taken down my Focus Sash, and set up my layer of Toxic Spikes. Um, unfortunately, since he went for the attacking move first, um, yeah, uh, I can't get the second layer up. So I go to my Scizor, um, expecting either the Psycho Boost or um, Extreme Speed, and it was he went with Extreme Speed, gets a crit, and now he goes for a Fire Punch and takes out my Scizor, which kind of sucks. Um, he, he gets a crit there. It might I, I don't want to say that crit mattered, but I think might have maybe the first crit mattered because this thing can't be that um, can't have too much uh, attack investment. Um, with the moves it has. He sets up one layer of spikes and then goes for the psycho boost. You know, and he's at minus two, now minus four, so, yeah. And, uh, he's not the most defensive thing in the world, so, yeah, I just do over half of an earthquake. Goes into Gliscor. Um, I go for the rapid spin just to get rid of that one, uh, layer of spikes, just in case I want to bring that Rose Raid in later. Um, and, yeah. So I go into my uh, Swallow, and luckily for me, I avoid a Ice Bank. And Swallow is just not quite powerful enough for OU. Um, I was hoping it would be a little better. Um, I need, uh, I need something that, to switch it out. I, I want to put a Fire type, maybe a Magmortar, um, to put it in its place. Uh, I go for an Ice Shard here; doesn't do much, even though it's times four. Uh, he goes for a nice thing, doesn't do much, even though it's times two. So, I mean, we're two really bulky Pokemon. This thing is not going to end very soon if we just stay in. Luckily, she uh, switches out into a Vaporeon for the uh, uh, the next Ice Shard. And, yeah, it's not going to do jack. Um, and, yeah. So, anyway, uh, the next move... I was, I was hoping that this next move uh, she would go for either a Toxic or a Wish. So I go into Rose Raid, um, thinking that you know, I can't be toxic, and then with Wish I could just set up the second layer. But he goes for a Skull. Doesn't really matter, ultimately. Um, I mean, there's not really... Now I get a clean switch into anything, so there we go. It all worked out. I go into my Voldemort, and I go for Fuse Ray. I, expecting uh, him to switch out, um, but just stays in. And since he didn't switch out, I'm, I figure she, she's going to stay in for one more move, uh, thinking she could survive a Thunder. Um, so I'm going to go for the Thunder. Hits, and it actually doesn't KO. Like, even after Poison, um, it's not going to KO the Vaporeon. So, yeah. He goes for the Wish. I don't know if she has Protect or not. Um, so I just switch out, thinking it's either going to be a Protect um, but she she goes uh, for a switch here, and I was not expecting that. Um, and goes into this uh, Glade, which is good for me because I am flying type. Uh, this will work out for me well. Uh, but she withdraws and goes into Vaporeon again just to get killed by Stealth Rock, so... Yeah. So it goes into Gliscor again, and uh, this thing's really bulky. But I'm going to go ahead and try in it with Facade after he protects. He's he's uh, stalling out my burn, is the thing. That's another thing about Swellow, since you can't really use it unless it's status, so you you, it, you get stalled out pretty easily. Um, the Ice Bang doesn't kill, so that tells me for sure that it's a really bulky set, too. So anyway, I go into Mind Shao, and this is one of the best moves in the game, uh, in the match. It uh, goes for a protect. I knew he was going to protect, so I go for a U-turn just to kind of fake him out here. And then I go for a Hidden Power Ice. So that was just pro move there, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, mixed Mind Shao is something people don't expect to see at all. So yeah, now I'm just going to go for a U-turn for some actual switch advantage. Um, but she knew that I was going to go for the U-turn. Um, yeah, that was a good move. Uh, it just uh, gets a bulk up on the switch, and uh, now I think I 
just I'm just gonna try to attack it with an ice shard, just see how much it's gonna do. Because I know glades are kinda frail, but now with that bulk up, not so much. Um, yeah, and goes for a drain punch. And the drain punch doesn't do that much, and because of that, he doesn't get that much HP back. Um, it's it's a re I think ultimately once I start going for earthquake, it's gonna be you know he's gonna be losing HP ultimately because he's really not you know, yeah he's not getting, gaining much. Um, go for an earthquake, get a crit. Awesome, that's my crit. That's my hacks for the game. Um, anyway, he goes back into the De Deoxys and. I, I figure it's pointless to go for the Ice Shard since his extreme speed is going to be better than mine. So, uh, yeah. Doesn't take me out though, and I hit him with an Earthquake, so there we go. Next, um, I believe he has two Pokemon left, and he goes into Infernape. And after one move, you can basically figure, figure out the Infernape set that you're dealing with. Um, he goes for a Fire Punch, which tells me it's an Iron Fist uh, Life Orb set. And, yeah, good deal. I go into Voldemort thinking he might go for a Mock Punch, but uh, he actually does carry the close combat, um, which is going to take me down to very low HP. doesn't take me out, though, and I hit him with a Hydro Pump to take him out. So, yeah, there's a good deal there. Um, yeah, I lost my good video. Like, I had a really good battle with Lantern yesterday. It was such a great match with Lantern. But I lost it. I I I, uh, I didn't lose the match. I, I I lost the save file. Anyway, he gets he sends in his last Pokemon, which is Latios, and that's gonna take out Voldemort easily at that range. And with the special uh, special attack drop, I'm hoping I can survive this one with uh, Mind Shell and him with a U-turn. But uh, as I find out right here, he gets uh, he's a choice specs set. So yeah, I lose. But still a great match. No one can no one can doubt that. That was a great match. And you know, but I'm not gonna say much for my opponent because they were kind of a they they weren't the most polite person. Like you always say good game, good luck, have fun. Like that's just etiquette, you know? Like I don't care if you like me or not, that's something you do, like before a match. Alright? They didn't do anything. They just kinda said, Hey, you need a match? Like, no, they didn't even say that. They said, what tier? Then they're like, oh, you. And then, bam. That that was all I heard from them. Like, they're just kind of... You gotta be polite to people online. Or you'll just end up with videos about you like this, where some someone is just bitching about you being a bitch. So, that's my rant. Be polite to people when you're getting your Wi-Fi battles, okay? Anyway, comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys later.